such a beautiful morning. The 5th of November. So calm, peaceful. Just hear lots of birds singing. And the old magpie behind somewhere. Oh, I thought I'd come and share a poem. <clears throat> so the election situation in America, what to say. Um, but we know that uh, we're at that time of Jesus Christ returning, so God's will will prevail, whatever that may be. Um, we know that heaven will come down to earth. So... I pray for that. In accord with the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so God's will being done on earth as it is in heaven. So God's laws, the Ten Commandments, are what keep us away from stress, anxiety, pain and suffering. So it's not really very hard when those principles are applied in, in every aspect of the law. And I think we're at a time when law has become burdensome. Life has become burdensome, very expensive, too expensive. And um, that's affecting our young people, which is not fair. It's not good. It's not how life is meant to be. This lockdown time has uh, given all of us time to reflect and think what's important, who's important in our lives, connecting with nature, seeing nature regenerate and the beauty of life be restored. So there's good things, good things coming out of this, very good things. And uh, <coughs> the lockdowns, you know, we don't need to be going to the shops all the time and consuming, consuming and consuming. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Oh, isn't it? I know. Oh, yeah. Um, where was I? <laughs> Praying for the kingdom. And uh, hallowed be thy name. So um, God, God says that, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh says I will prove to be what I prove to be and we know that God is love and uh, and Jehovah means he who causes love to become Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach is the anointed one it's the one anointed with love so it's all about causing love to become and in, in my Perusia work I show how love is not a cortisol and that um, uh, oh hold on I'm going to have to stop again um, yes, yeah, so it's all about causing that, that love, that wholeness of love, the fullness of the spirit of love. And by their fruits we know them. It's the fruits of uh, love, joy, uh, faith, kindness, mildness, goodness, patience, self-control, not to sin, abuse or hurt another. And then we find the twofold peace uh, via a quiet conscience. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, so... It's uh, we've been living through through uh, challenging times for a number number of years, a few hundred years perhaps, <laughs> thousands of years. Um, okay, so I'm going to re read to you this morning um, a poem about heaven coming down to earth, um, the heavenly city Zion, um, and the promise that is uh, for for God to wipe away every tear. So it's Revelation twenty one four, wipe away every tear and pain and uh, mourning will be no more. Um, when we have pain and loss and grief, we need to mourn. Um, a lot of people think it's not okay or cool to cry. Um, and then we'll find, um, you know, sort of it, that the grief will manifest in different ways and um, will come out in different forms. So we need to mourn, we need to cry. I'll put in the link down below um, a poem of, of that grieving process. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so this is called the Heavenly City Zion. When will she come to be? Zion, 
radiant with love's light, gleaming with gems of consciousness for the promised land, of, for healing pain for all nations, for all people, for the healing of pain, for twofold peace from heaven to earth. Twofold peace, doubled as he frame, Jerusalem within and without, above and below, for heaven to come down to earth. It is our Heavenly Father's promise, the heavenly city radiant with love's light. Please enter freely and bathe in her light of minerals, that Linus Pauling said you can trace every sickness, every disease and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. Just as sulphur in homeopathy is relevant to every disease, so it is when Jesus Christ, the whole spirit of love, said through John in the book of Revelation that sin puts us into the fiery lake of sulphur. Cells debased as a six, six and six, six proteins destabilised by cortisols of doubt. Minerals and elements holding sacred geometrical forms, turning a hexagon into an octagon, are seen in many ecclesiastical tiles. Man's imperfections made whole in God's love, energies transformed to an infinite flow of eights, for perfecting the flow of positive love to flow freely as a river of gold. Eights, upright infinities of endorphin blood, offering a blueprint for eternal life of the spirit, made whole and one in us, with our Father's love, where spirit will not be cracked or broken, but will reach the height of Everest and beyond, perhaps the true Kohinoor, the true mountain of light. May heaven come down to earth very soon. God bless.